Hello and welcome to the WMG Academy Apprenticeship Talks. Today we have a former student who's going to talk through his apprenticeship journey. Thanks for joining us today, Aaron. Thank you for having me. So can you just uh, tell us, um, introduce yourself, tell us when you left WMG and what courses you did here? Um, my name is Aaron Ayers Hunt. I, um, I left at WMG Academy in, it would have been 2020. And um, I'm now working uh, for Airbus on an aerospace engineering degree apprenticeship. Well, that sounds fantastic. And what um, subjects did you do here for your A-levels? Uh, for A-levels, I did uh, maths, physics and product design. Brilliant. So now you're at Airbus. Um, what sort of things do you do at Airbus? And tell us a little bit about Airbus in itself as a company. So Airbus is an uh, international um, producer of commercial aircraft. Um, there are other divisions um, that Air Airbus work in, but I'm working in commercial. So far on the apprenticeship, um, I've been doing purely academic work for the first year. And then after uh, eight to ten months or so of that, I'll be moving on to doing placements within the company, um, going through different sectors and um, getting a feel for what I like, um, what I don't like, and then ultimately going into, into work in a section that I am um, of my choosing. Oh, that sounds really interesting. And so what university are you studying at? And can you just clarify what um, course you're doing at university? Absolutely. Um, I'm studying at the University of the West of England and I'll it's a, um, a BNG of aerospace engineering that I'm on. So let me just confirm a few things. So you are employed by Airbus, but at the moment you are purely 100% a student for the, so you start in September and you won't actually start your job until June. Are you getting paid full time to do this? Yep, for the first uh, eight to 10 months of um, doing purely academic work, I'm getting paid full time as an apprentice um, to essentially just do first year student stuff. I mean, there's also some other uh, training that Airbus is throwing in there um, so we can get an appreciation of different skills, um, which is obviously beneficial to, um, to my skill set. And that's just something else that just being a student alone wouldn't offer. And so Airbus isn't located in Coventry, is it? Did you have to relocate for this job? Yep, so I had to move to Western Supermare for the first year, and then which is where the uh, college where they're teaching um, the first year uh, work is. And then next year, I'll be moving up to Bristol so I can work on site whilst doing um, studies part time. Brilliant. And so you've only had a few months really of this apprenticeship, but are you still glad you went down the apprenticeship route? Yeah, definitely glad um, because I'm getting full university experience whilst also getting a taste of um, work and what the industry is like whilst getting paid as well, which is absolutely a benefit. And we have a lot of students here who are very interested in the aerospace industry. How many different companies did you apply for and what type of companies did you apply for when you were here in year 13? So I must have applied to, I want to say, between 10 and 15 companies for apprenticeships. Um, you know, like the Airbus, uh, the MOD, um, Rolls-Royce, uh, GKN, uh, all sorts really. And um, I, it's surprising because although I applied to that many apprenticeships and I ultimately got an offer from that uh, for, for, from a very uh, highly rated apprenticeship, it's the only one I got an offer from. And it just goes to show that you need to send out that many applications in order to get a result back. Yeah, absolutely. And what were those apprenticeship processes like? What were the stages that you went through? So for my apprenticeship, at least, it was um, so I sent off my application, CV, cover letter, etc. And then um, that CV was selected and I, could, I was invited to go to an assessment day. And on that assessment day, it was split into two halves. So the first half was a group assessment, and then the second half was an interview. Um, after that, um, I got a phone call saying that I'd gotten the apprenticeship. However, that was a lot less complex compared to um, some other apprenticeships I've applied for. 
where you had to do stuff like online tests, um, phone interviews as well, then an assessment centre, then another interview. So they're all very different processes. And do you have any tips for anyone who's going through those recruitment processes? Any lessons learned from what you did already? I would say the biggest thing to do is do as much research on that company as possible. Um, that way, when you go to the assessment centres, the uh, interviews, you'll be able to um, be well informed about what the company does, what they're looking for, and you can portray that when you go there. Um, and yeah, I'd just say be confident and it'll be fine. And do you feel like your time at WMG Academy helps you stand out from the crowd? I'd say so. I think another thing they're looking for, companies, is not purely just the grades, but how you are as a person and how you are um, in what you do outside of your academic studies. So, for instance, extracurricular activities, which WMG Academy offers a lot of. For instance, I was able to quote stuff like um, the Green Power Club, which I did, and um, explain about that during my interview. Um, what I learned from that and how I could apply, apply the skills I learned to the apprenticeship. Yeah, that's great advice. And just for my last question, if there are students now who are thinking about the apprenticeship route, um, what advice would you give them? I'd say apply to as many apprenticeships as you can that are relevant to what you want to do and do plenty of research on the companies. Well, that's it really. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for taking part in the WMG Academy Apprenticeship Talks and we hope to hear more about you and Airbus in the future. Thank you very much for having me.